The graph below shows the distance traveled by a car after leaving Vaipukara. So let's read the graph. So what's the, on the x-axis, you've got the time in a.m. So this is 6 a.m., this is 6.30 a.m., 7 a.m., and so on. And on the y-axis, it is the distance the car has traveled. Okay, so let's answer the first question. The first question says, find the rate of change of each of the four sections. So yeah, to find the rate of change, yeah, is the change in distance over change in time. So let's write the coordinate. So this is the co at 6 a.m., the car is at Y Pukara. So the, here, here you can say this is 6 comma, this is 6 comma 0. And at 7, so the coordinate of this is 7 comma 60. 7 comma 60. So for A, the rate for the first part or for the first for the first uh, section, you want to find the rate. So here the rate is the speed. In this case, the rate is the speed because the change in distance over change in time. So this is the change in distance is, so I'll give you a formula for rate or gradient is y2 minus y1, which is the change in y divided by x2 minus x1. So if you remember this formula, it's very easy to find the answer. Okay, so I'm calling this, so this is my x1, so let me call this, this is your x1, and this is your y1 and this is your x2 and this is your y you can pick any any number as x1 or y1 so if we if we decide this is x1 we'll, see, we'll have to say this is y1 this is x2 y2 so applying the formula you know just substitute the value so y2 oh so i should have written y2 here i should have written y2 so x2 y2 so y2 minus y1, so this is 60 minus 0 divided by x2 minus x1, which is 7 minus 6. So in, in, in basically, if you look at the graph, if this is 60 kilometers divided by 1 hour. So 60 divided by 1 is 60, so this is 60 kilometers per hour. So that's the speed of the first section. So for the first section, the speed is 60 kilometers per hour. For section B, what's the, so let me do the working here. For section B, so I can call this is my, I can call, this is my X1 and this is my Y1. What is this point? So this is 8 comma 60. 8 comma 60 so this is your x2 and this is your y2 so let's simply apply the formula for section b the rate which is again the speed is y2 minus y1 which is 60 minus 60 divided by what is this this is 8 minus 7 so the gradient is 0 here. Yeah. So this is 0 over 1, which is 0. That means there is no speed. The car is stationary here. Yeah. So there is a rest. So this is a stationary, which is a gradient of 0. So in other words, using your logic, so from 8 to 9, the person who was driving the car, sorry, from 7 to 8, the person took a rest, a break. So the person drove for one hour and then took a break. Okay, so let me erase this. I need space. So let me erase this. For section C, again, go through the same process. You can pause this video and try to do this yourself. So this is for section C. For section C. So we have, this is what? This is 8 comma 60. And this is 
comma how much this is 110 so I'm going to call this is x1 this is y1 this is my x2 and this is my y2 so for C the rate or the speed is rise over run or y2 minus y1 so let me write the formula again y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 so let's just substitute the formula so this is y2 is 110 minus 60 divided by 8.5 minus 8 which is this is how much this is 50 divided by 0.5 50 divided by 0.5 so 50 divided by 4.5 would be 100 kilometers so this is kilometers and this is hour so this is 100 kilometers per hour and that's the rate which is the speed so if you want to just confirm you can use a calculator so this is 50 divided by 0 0.5 is 100 kilometers for this section the speed is 100 kilometers and for the last section, let's change y1. So this is, let me use a smaller eraser. So I will change this to x1. So this is say, this is x2, y2. So let's keep x2, y2. And let me let me call this point. So what is this coordinate? The coordinate is 10, comma, 0. So let me call this x1 and this y1 it doesn't matter so the formula is so the rate for d the gradient has to be negative because it's going down so rate is speed here yeah? speed is y2 minus y1 so let, let me again write the formula it's always good to write the formula which is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 so just substitute the formula which is y2 which is 10 minus 10 minus 0 divided by x2 which is 8.5 take away 10 so this is how much this is 10 divided by this would be negative so this would be 1.5 so let me confirm so 8.5 cancel 8.5 take away 10 is negative 1.5 so cancel then you go 10 divided by negative 1.5 10 let me do it again 10 divided by negative 1.5 uh oh what did i do 10 divided by negative oh this is not working I'll put this in the bracket oh, I'll use my simple calculator okay it should be working so let me try so this is 10 divided by 1.5 so let me put 1.5 just like that I'll change this into 10 divided by 1.5 okay so this have made a mistake here okay this answer doesn't make sense so what's the mistake i didn't do y2 oh this is 110 yeah sorry that's my mistake so this is 110 this will be 110 so that was what is not making sense so cancel so this is 110 divided by 1.5 which is 73 and one third or 73.3 recurring so the gradient is negative what does the gradient negative mean so the gradient is minus 73.3 recurring kilometers per hour so that's the speed for the next last branch okay so so we've answered this question so Give the equation that represents the sec section A, section A of the journey. 
So we want to write the equation of this part, section A. So what's the gradient there? The gradient, gradient was how much? Gradient was 60, isn't it? So gradient is 60. So the equation of a line is y is equal to mx, which is the gradient times x plus c. And what's the y-intercept there? The y-intercept is 0. So the equation of that line or that part is 60. So let me write d for distance. So you can say d, y stands for d here. Distance away from y pokerao would be 60 times t, which is the time, plus c, plus c, which is 0 which implies, you can say, d is equal to 60 t. 60 times t. t stands for the number of hours. Okay, the final, uh, the next question is, use information from c, that is this question, to find what time, find the time the car is 52 kilometers from Waipukura. So let's use the graph first. So 52 kilometers would come somewhere here. So let me use a dotted line. Let me first explain graphically. So let's make an estimate of the answer. So the estimate of the answer would be around, you can say around 7, okay, almost 7. So this is about, uh, this is 6 o'clock, so this is about 50 minutes or more than 50 minutes. So let's use the equation. So distance is 52. So here you can see D is given to be 52 and you want to find the time. So let's use the formula. So 52 is equal to 60 times T. 60 times T. So T dividing both sides by 60. So T would be 52 divided by 60. So let's use the calculator. So, which is 52 divided by 60, which is 0.86 hours. So, let's change this into minutes so times it by 60 is 52 minutes. Okay, so 52 minutes. So, uh, this is basically 52 minutes after 6. So, 52 minutes after 6 would be 6, 52. And does the answer make sense? So at 6.52, the car was exactly 52 kilometers away from Vaipukara. It does make sense, isn't it? So this is 7, so this is 6.52. Eight minutes before 7, the car was 52 kilometers away from Vaipukara. And the final question, what is represented by section C of the graph? Section D of the graph tells me the, gra the car is coming back to Vaipukara. So at 10, the car was back at Vaipukara. So section D tells me the car is coming back to Vaipukara. Coming back to Vaipukara. And that's why it's at a negative gradient of speed. And the graph tells me at 10, the car was back at Waipukarao. 